Hello, I'm XP Gamer 77. Welcome back to episode number two of my new survival Minecraft series. Now, before I get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you like this content, hit the like button. Also, hit the bell to stay up to date on the next video. This is now the eighth day in the world, and we were able to do a good amount of gearing up in the last episode. If you didn't see the last episode, episode one, then go check it out now. I'll leave a card in the top right corner of the screen, and also a link down below for you guys to check it out. This episode, I have plans to basically continue gearing up by diving deep beneath the world and exploring those caves. I need resources, mainly diamonds. So before I take off, I'm just gathering up some things that I'll need to survive down there. Did you know that turtles take up two spots on a boat? <laughs> yeah, I learned that the hard way. You learn something new every day, especially in this game. I start to set sail, but I noticed a ruined portal below the water, so I decided to take a peek. I found something very interesting. Three different gold chest plates with mending on them. Weird. I eventually made it to land on the other side. I started to explore a little bit. I am greeted right away with a skelly. Not one, but two of them. So I just let them duke it out, and I'll take the winner. I realized I had forgot my bed to sleep away the night. So instead of coming back to my camp, which wasn't far at all, I decided to kill more sheep to make a bed. The next day, I got right back to work, found another cave, and again was greeted by a skelly. Going further into the cave, I met yet another skelly, but this time he had a partner, Mr. Creeper. I ignored them for a moment, I then went back to finish the job. I found myself in a creeper chain reaction, exploding one after the other. I had a small little setup to smelt my iron and store some extra stuff. I am now almost kitted out in iron gear. I just need pants. I explored deeper and found myself about to enter a giant cave filled with mobs waiting to greet me. The skellies never quit. I found an enderman. I wanted to get an ender pearl, so I decided to trap him with a boat. But. I got no pearl. I stumbled upon a skelly spawner. Shocking. This time, the skellies got me. And well, I died. I respawned right back at world spawn because I forgot to set my spawn at my base. And of course, it was night. I had to quickly gather up some materials and travel all the way back through the night without dying. In the rain. Traveling through the night with baby zombies chasing me and getting attacked by other mobs. But, thanks to replay, I was able to look up the cords of where I died so I I can just make a beeline to the place where I died without wasting any time. I eventually made it back to my base and then ran over to get my stuff before it despawns. Was able to then loot the dungeon. I continued on caving and made it back to the big cave where I was greeted by a bunch of mobs wanting to eat my face. And if you were wondering, this is what it looks like. After I was able to light it all up, I explored and caved more, collecting more resources and fighting off more mobs. I was able to make it a little further down, closer to the deep slate area, and I set up a small camp so I could smelt my ores. I was loaded. I finally made it down to the deep slate area where my main goal was to look for diamonds. I eventually found some diamonds. Took a break to make a temporary staircase up to the surface for easy access to the mines. I then made it back over to organize everything and do some work around the place, also known as chores. I so far have now 18 diamonds to my name with a decent amount of other ores as well. It felt like it was a good time to set up a mini fishing area for me to fish, mainly because I was low on food and needed to fish. So I fished and fished until it was sunset. Now after 14 days in this world, I'm feeling pretty good where I'm at. I have a decent amount of resources and materials collected up, but not nearly enough for my starter base. But I do have a build mocked up in my test world for my starter base that I hope to start soon. Again, I just need to collect a bunch of materials for that. But that's all I got for this episode, an eventful one to say the least. So if you have any feedback, please feel free to share it. But unfortunately, I have to wrap things up here. So if you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up. It'll be much appreciated if you did. And if you guys are new, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future episodes, such like this one in the future. And make sure you hit that bell to stay notified. See ya.